One, two, seven, nine. Ooh. Eight. Sorry, I don't want to cop. Uh, it's copyrighted, you. I think. Yeah. Bon bonjour, mes amis. Uh, enchanté. Um. Hi. I don't. I don't know any other languages. Yeah. Neither. Uh, Kamusta. Oh Kamusta. God. Kamusta. <laughs> Kamusta. <laughs> Welcome back to Salam the. Alaikum. Hey you. Uh, oh shit, I thought of Homeland. I haven't finished that show yet. <laughs> oh, you haven't yet? No, I'm like season seven or something. Oh. Yeah, because there's like nine, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or eight? I know there's like one or two seasons left I have to watch. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, welcome back to the Team Rocket Podcast. My name is Jesse. And I'm James. And this will be airing in the new year. Mm -hmm. It's um, if you are closely following our um, release schedule, you're gonna see the uh, Christmas one come out today, the New Year's one come out tomorrow, and then we'll be back on track next week with this episode. Mm. So it's, it's been a hectic uh, holiday. Sorry, guys. But you know what they say: you just like after Christmas dinner, shit gets clogged up. You know. Yeah, like this morning, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, it was bad. I had to pull the snake out, bro. The, usually oh, the, pl really? the plunger works. And yeah. then it was like, it's not, it's not going down. Was there just not an, you, did you check? Maybe there wasn't enough water that filled into the toilet before oh, you took a shit. There's enough water. You, yeah. Oh, I, I sent you Snapchat. Oh yeah. You don't have to open it now. Okay. But, I, I haven't opened Snapchat in a while. Oh, that's okay. No, don't open it now. I kind of want to open it. You're going to lose your appetite, bro. Hmm? Oh, I, I, I stay hungry, yo. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to get Mary Browns after this, bro. <laughs> I stay hungry, yo. Brown is brown, yo. Yo! Well, I took a, a massive shit this morning, clogged the toilet, and we are an hour late for the podcast. But um, shout out to Big Shits. Mm. Yeah. No, that's some shit. That, yeah. There was definitely some shit in the toilet. Um, but it's okay. We made it. We're back. Um... And James is opening his Snapchat. Oh. I tried to hide the... Oh. Yeah. I didn't even see it. That's not bad. Still, though. <laughs> there's, like, the plunge... The thing was there. I... I thought you were going to show, uh... Like, the float... Like, the floating yeah, yeah, stuff? Yeah. Nah. That's what I would have done. Yeah. Oh. I felt bad, yeah. I didn't know if you were eating this morning, so... Oh, I, I, I was when you first texted me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But... But I would have been... I was already done eating when you told me you were going to be late because you took a shit. Yes. Oh, okay. Would it would it have ruined your appetite if I sent you that before you started eating? Nah. No? Okay. I don't think so. Stay hungry, yo. Stay hungry. Stay hungry, yo. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Well. Um that's me starting off the or ending the twenty twenty three off with a, a big shit. Leaving leaving that shit behind mm. in twenty twenty three, yo. Mm. Shout out to less clogged toilets. Shout outs. But I'm more a fan of good shits, mm -hmm. regardless of what happens to the toilet. But um, like sometimes bowel movements like that can be pretty satisfying. Yeah, I'm. I feel lighter. Just like how when you uh, stop doing cut cut out some shit in your own life, it can be satisfying and healthy. You know. Speaking of one of the uh, questions that I actually Segway. had for us to talk about uh, today Segway. was. Uh, what are some things that you want to start, stop, mm. or continue doing? I knew we weren't going to do New Year's resolutions, but this is kind of different yeah. in terms of thinking about like things that you want to like start to do yeah. that you haven't already started for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, things that like shit mm. you want to cut out of your life mm. because it's not working out for you and it's not benefiting you yes. in healthy ways. And are, what are some things that you're already doing that mm. you want to maintain or nurture even more mm. in the following year? So should we give an example of like each one? Stop, yeah. start, start, stop, start, continue. Start, stop, continue. Mm. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Um, should we start with... Start? How about we start with stop? Oh, Yeah. okay. Okay. Cause then we'll, cause we're leaving that shit behind. Yeah, we're leaving that shit behind. Now I wanna, I wanna end it off with, uh, with looking forward. Mm. Yeah. Unless you want to make like a. No, no, a, that makes sense. Like we can stop. It's like, stop. It's like okay. Uh, what do we need to leave behind here? Uh, mm -hmm. What are we already doing that's good? And what are we, what are we going to grab? Right, going forward. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's like, huh? 
Huh. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> like Air Jordan, you Yeah, Air Jordan, you Air Jordan, you Air Jordan, you Like that. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan. Hey, if you see this, uh, please sponsor us. That'd be. Cool. Oh, that'd be crazy. I'd wear some. <laughs> I'd wear some retro uh, retro fives. Sponsored by Jordan brand. Retro sixes. I don't. Know, I forget which one I like. Oh God. You could like any of them, yo. Yeah. Some the of them ones? are. Oh, classic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ones are my favorite. Like uh, the silhouette. Yeah, like, that's a yeah. Mm. a lot of people like the threes the threes are clean but then i feel like i haven't like i mean i'm not into shoes enough to know i'm I'm, heads up i'm really gassy right now so you're gonna hear noises oh you're good you're good that one actually felt like i was gonna let some shit out so you're good at that (laughs) i don't know if that was real yo oh shit if i if i if i was wearing a mask you wouldn't be able to tell if i fight or not would you oh i wouldn't yeah i'd be like hmm all right close your eyes close your eyes (laughs) that that one that one i i felt one of those before you i checked after you (laughs) you're like oh now it's one of those you're like oh i should uh I should, uh, it's one where you're just like, I can't let my underwear touch my pants more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 it's one of those. I mean, your butt, your butt touch your pants, or your underwear touch your underwear pants? touch underwear touch my ass. Uh, underwear yeah, touch yeah. your ass, yeah, more, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you ever, uh, um, like when you think you shit your pants, or you're like 99% sure? I've had times where like oh. I like pull down my pants a little bit, or like put my hand. Like imagine if this is this is my ass, right? Yeah. I put my hand inside of my shorts and then like I pull it away from my my ass as I'm walking to the washroom. Oh yeah, yeah. so it doesn't so, like so spread, right? Yeah, so it doesn't yeah, spread because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I, shit, you know? <laughs> like or, shit. Or like I, I do like the pinch, the, like the pinch just on the outside. You're like, yeah, yeah, outside. This is my ass. It's like this side is my ass, yo. Yeah. It's like I do the pinch where it's like, oh, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. and then I do like the it's like a, it's like a tiptoe waddle, mm. tiptoe. But then you like waddle so I can like move, yes, like get there yes, faster. Yes. But I like I nothing nothing moves the the hip. Yeah, keep that hip locked here. You know? Have you ever just thrown away um, underwear because you shit in it, or do you yes. or do you like uh, like wash it right away on its own or something? Depends. Um, I think I've only had like one or two instances where it was like. Creamed on there. I was like, mm. no. It's like that's no. <laughs> would you, in hindsight, would you have just like continued shitting and then just like wiped your ass with the drier part of your underwear <laughs> since you know you're gonna throw it out? I've never had to be in a situation where I had to do that mm. because um, usually I I'd, I'd make it to like. Like home base, like mm. here, mm. where I have underwear. Mm-hmm. I'm just like oh, fuck this, and then I'd I'd be comfortable, get it out of the way, and then, yeah. I feel like I hope no one's eating while we're, they're watching this. I should play disclaimer. Have you ever um, had so much fun, like family, friends, school, or, mm. or at home, or something? Mm. Where you know you have to shit, but then you put it aside because you're like, oh, I don't want to miss out on what's going on right now. Oh, 100%. I did that. That's bad. Like, I do. I'm bad for that when I need to pee. There have been times where I pee your pants. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Now, where you would, if it's pee, you obviously just wash it, or is it automatically, I'm going to throw it out and it's garbage? The pee, there's still hope. Mm-hmm. I think there's still hope with that. Um, if it's like, like if after the wash, there's still like evidence, and it's just like, oh, then I throw it out. Mm. I I I give it hope. I mean, like it's important to like have immediate access to washing it right away. Otherwise, oh, if sure. you let it sit, it's gonna smell. Yeah, and it might smell after you put it up. You wash it, mm. which mm. sucks. But yeah, that's ass. So I remember when I used to work at um uh, at the summer camp. Um, there's this kid, uh, I was like, I was like the summer camp leader. and I, I just got like, I was like, I don't know. Uh, I thank God I wasn't a counselor there. <laughs> yeah. I was counseling one week and oh. this little kid, um, he didn't, it, it didn't, he was like pretty shy or timid or whatever, but he was like cute. He was funny. Um, 
that I had no prior wor- reason to worry about bedwetters. Like usually, um, the parents who drop them off tell like leadership or like one of us will be like, "Oh, he wets the bed. Um, we got him like, like a a, a, a liner for the mattress just in case or whatever." Yeah. Like for more serious cases. Yeah. But then this kid, there was no warning or anything like that. I guess he was just like nervous. To be like gone away from home oh, like first time for like that in, long in a new new place yeah, yeah. but I mean, anyways like i um they had like i thought nothing of it they had like their first day of activities we all like uh went to bed woke up the next morning and like like after after at the end of that day they would uh it was normal for like people to just like hang their like uh like if you do like water sports activities hang their like swimsuits and wet shirts or whatever on to like the roof or something yeah or on the ground where you where you know it's gonna hit the sun and then put them inside bring them inside so it doesn't like catch the morning dew right yeah anyways um they everybody brings their shit inside it's like all dried or whatever and then the next morning like as we're all like leaving i'm like it's really piss you and then like i'm a lot of them like have their shit like hanging on their bunk if they know what they need immediately the next morning right i'm like like this kid's um underwear like uh it wasn't his swim either he had his swim trunks and then he had the actual underwear i'm like yo it doesn't even look like he uh tried dry like re wringing it out in the shower or anything like that but it looked like from my understanding that he had went to water sports and I guess had so much fun when I talked to him afterwards. Like he had so much fun that like he like his shorts got wet, obviously you're like tubing or water yeah, or water. You're in the water, yeah. He gets out and he was like holding his pee in that entire time. He peed afterwards and was like, Oh, I'm wet already, it doesn't really make a difference. But then his pa- shorts were already kind of dry. So then what he just assumed was it was gonna... water, it was just gonna like dry dry up as well. But then, so then there was like a gradient. So you could see kind of like, like a slight water line. There's like, there's like water, dry, piss. Yeah. yeah oh. Yeah. You could tell there was a difference of like dryness, like a uh, house, how more recent it was. Right. I'm like, it stinks. It's, it, it's, it's, it, it stinks. My guy, you gotta, you gotta like, uh, I can bring it in to get, um, in my head. I was like, I could bring it in to get uh, laundry because we do our laundry there. Or he could just rinse it on the shower. I don't know. I left. I left that decision up to him. Kind of up to him mm-hmm. to have some like, uh, what's the word? Agency over his choice, right? So he chose. He'd rinse it out in the shower, anyways. Uh, that was fine, I guess. But uh, the wood that he uh, rested his shit on, <laughs> on the bed frame, <laughs> swelling fist not too. So I was like, when in there after we sent them off to their different acti- activity areas, I was like with the Lysol. But yeah, you know. I thought the I thought the rinsing in the shower was end of story, and then he said, "Yeah, but the wood." I, like, oh! <laughs> I I would have gotten the saw. Yeah, just hollow it out, yo. Yeah. Can't <laughs> <laughs> wait, said yo. Oh shit, sorry. But this was ah, I don't give a shit. What was the last oh, we talked about when we lost the last time we were there? That's okay. We don't need to talk about that again. Was the last time I was there the last time you were there? I think so. I think I went one year after again. Oh. But then that, but like that was like probably just a weekend or something. Mm. That was, um, that was the year, man. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I went again after that, though. Did you? Oh, with I Queen... went with the Queen Mark, Queen Mike. Oh, so then maybe we did go the same year then. Maybe. Yeah. I just didn't stay with you guys. I was with my, uh, my parents. Mm. Yeah, because I think, hmm, ah, oh well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's all a blur now. I don't yeah. know if people still go there. Yeah, I heard just uh, they're down bad for staff. Hmm. Well, if you're like, paying... imagine you're like, uh, your like higher leadership staff have like a little bit more experience, right? 
presumably then like counselors or whatever like part-time staff or like that are just there like first time like yeah. only been staff for like a year maybe two yeah but then now like leadership and like first year staffs are all like the same it's like oh you have like kind of a little bit more experience in this but this is your first time like oh leadership oh uh which i mean nothing wrong with that but it's like it just goes to show that there's like not a lot of um like future planning and in, or investing into the into the people, the people who are... that who is working there oh that's so ass dude hey but hey it's not that's neither here nor there, there. Ah. <laughs> oh man it's all about the investment yo i i could i could speak for that you know you know mm-hmm. acting like they'll be fine without yeah, you if god they, damn if, yo. you, if, <laughs> you, if there's places of businesses that treat you more like as an expendable asset or a number on a piece of paper that needs to produce other numbers that are either up down or the same then it's like hey then it's nothing then it's then it should be you shouldn't take it as personal for yourself to be to t- let that take away energy from you mm-hmm What are we leaving behind this mm. year? I can start with this one actually. Okay. I got something off rip. Um this has come up recently, but um my people pleasing tendencies mm. have uh, snuck back into my life mm. for whatever reason. Mm. Whatever reason is not important, but I need to uh I need to I think I am preface i'm really good at knowing the right thing to say even though it's not what i'm actually thinking Mm. so i need to i need to learn how to like put that away and just say what i feel and think Mm. and know and then be able to take it on take on the consequences Mm. or not the consequences but like whatever follows basically right the the reaction to the the true reaction to the true intention. Yeah. Yeah. I guess like, like there's like, uh, I, I, first, first of all, I agree. Mm. Um, I guess there's like some, like, uh, this is my, like, I guess, uh, what's that? My anxious attachment style mm. speaking in defense of like thinking about contingencies of being like, there's like, there must be like the other side of it too, the uh, the counterbalance to like that idea. That's true. Of like, hey, um, if I do speak my mind and like fully my full intentions in like almost every situation, then I'm not. Um, at times, I could be perceived could like keyword could I could be perceived as being like selfish mm. or like not being considerate f- towards like. Um, regulating the emotions or reactions of, of other people of other, other people, people or, like, or like feeling the need yeah. of controlling that right mm. like oh if i can protect um my interaction with this person by not uh, revealing how that makes me feel mm-hmm. then i'll do that if it can kind of like keep that keep us okay right if that makes mm. sense that makes sense yeah, there's a there's a fine line because it's like, you, well, how much how much is that worth to you, right? Versus yeah. like you being able to get what you need off your chest. Exactly, it's it's a um, it's a fine line to uh, to walk. Yeah, I know I've been, I think recently just because like I've had so much on my plate again, more so now that I've just been leaning to like whatever's easiest, which is like, oh, I know I know what people need to hear, mm. then I can I don't I don't have to put more on my fully loaded plate right now mm. but i think that's what's been happening so i think that i need to like okay you need to grasp on things but again yes because there's a line between like um being a yes man and then just being absolutely insensitive because mm-hmm. like no one needs either yeah. you find like the right Middle ground. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have the words right I mean, there. dare I say if there's a line, right? If there is a... Yeah. I think you just have to... That's true. Spectrum, right? Yeah. I, I, you you just got to find where you... Where you... What's truest to you. 
and commit to it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I haven't been true to myself mm. and I've been doing too much of the easier. Yeah. No, yeah. I feel that. Yeah. So I got to leave that shit behind mm -hmm. like I did in the toilet earlier. Mm. My toilet's over there. So, yeah. And it is going to take work. You know, it's definitely going to take work. Plug yeah. that shit. Uh, yeah. Or plunge that get, shit. Get the snake, yo. Snake that shit. Snake, snake that shit. Let that process, yeah. yo. <laughs> I was swearing so much when mm -hmm. I was doing that. And I didn't realize my brother was still sleeping upstairs. I feel bad. I was like, he he heard me punch the wall for sure. Like, it's <laughs> it's bad. But she, it's good morning. Literally. Did he wake up eventually? Well, he's awake now. Uh, so we came home. I was just like, there's someone home? And then, oh. Yeah. Was there a car? There wasn't a car, though. Did your parents take both cars? There was a car there. Was there? Yeah. The Murano. It's white, so. Oh, yeah. Camo. Camo. Urban camo. Urban camo. Urban winter camo. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Only camo from November to March. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes longer. Sometimes. Oh, oh, God. I, mean, that's how, uh, I don't. I think it was like maybe like five years ago when it snowed in June. Yes. I was like, God. I was like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, damn. I was like, oh, okay, okay here's what? spring. It's been slushy, ugly for a while now. And then we get a surprise, like, couple days of snow and ice again. I'm like, That's okay, like, not I cool. Not cool. My summer tires on. <laughs> not cool, oh. dude. God damn. Yeah, yo. Like, I can't even have my, I can't even put my my summer tires on until, like, mid-June now. Yeah. Because I'm scared. Yeah. Like, and it's weird because like this winter has been so like yeah, wild it's that been it's like wild, dude. It's, yeah, I've heard some of my coworkers be like, "Oh, the amount of warmth, consistent warmth that we've been getting is bad for the rubber, my winter rubbers, like the tires." No, actually, it is because right? yeah. like we've been in the positives for like three days straight, right? Or like it'll go up and down, but nothing below like minus fifteen. No, that's crazy, right? Like it's it's weird for like this time of year. Heck, it's almost into the new year. Yeah. We're like literally a, like a day and something away. So. I mean, like, I'm not complaining that we're not no. getting minus 40 weather. Like. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We should be getting. Right. But yeah. I mean. Hey. <laughs> global warming's a thing. It's, yeah. it's, it, it's wild. kind of beneficial right now. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're, we're, but, reaping, we're reaping the benefits, but also it's just like, oh, shit. This yeah. is this is kind or, of serious. We're, we're, we're fucked. Yeah. We're fucked. We're yeah. getting fucked. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I've been seeing a lot more of those uh, those Government of Canada ads for climate change. Have you seen any of those? No, I haven't. It's like them talking about like... Um, I mean, they're kind of flexing Canada's uh, contribution to like green energy initiatives that they're doing. Mm -hmm. Which I'm like, hey, good. But I mean, like, we all definitely... I mean, I'm sure they could do more. But uh, that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there, but, yo. <laughs> We don't talk about the private yeah, jets, yo. And, uh, we don't talk about the private jets, yo. We don't talk about the funding and tax cuts that uh, some of these uh, bigger uh, oil or co oil ga gas company uh, corporations get, you know. But hey, I mean, nope. yeah, mm -mm. yeah, that's neither here nor there. But <laughs> speaking of uh, shit that we we're uh, leaving behind, leaving behind, um, you were talking about the the consequences and like the. The, the the spectrum of fucking knowing how much you want to stand uh like express yourself genuinely mm -hmm. and how versus like how, how considerate thoughtful you or be. considerate you want to be in certain situations mm -hmm. so i feel like that's like uh that's a hard one that like i'm definitely working with working through too mm -hmm. like i don't know um it's like how much is too much, how much is too little. Mm -hmm. um, I saw this guy actually on uh, TikTok, actually earlier this morning. Yeah. Um, not the same video where I got inspiration for this topic, but um, this other guy, he was talking about how he was, um, he found out like only recently, he's like maybe, I think he said he was like 28 or 29 or something. Mm-hmm. He's like just around our age. Yeah. And uh, he was talking about how he only found out recently, like in the last year, that um, he has uh, autism. Oh. And he was saying that like in like at first when he was like first uh, do getting tests done and shit. Yeah. He was like denying it in his mind. He's like, no, I don't want to have that. Like, 
like nah, it's not a, like no, nah, that's yeah. not a thing. And he's yeah. like Asian, so it's like uh, I we he kind of, he gets and he was like talking about that the stigma around mental illness, illness being something that you can just like ignore, brush off, or is like for people who don't want to tough it out or whatever, right? Mm. But then he was saying uh, since he got like the official diagnosis from doctors, um, one thing that he's been like reworking in because like it's like changed his life. He said he used to be like a heavy yes man oh, where yeah. he would operate almost all of his relationships in his life off of like uh, either like the he talks about how like the masks he would base his relationships on that he would use would be sometimes ones that were created for him by the other person in the relationship. Yeah. Whether it's like not not even just romantic, right? Or just like familiar relationships, yeah. right? Or platonic relationships, right? There he would be like some sometimes the the mask that he would base his relationship on would be created by the other person. Sometimes mm. it'd be like based off of a certain version of himself that he thinks that would please the other person. Or sometimes it would just be like just himself, right? Yeah. But then like he would use uh sometimes use like humor as a defense. So it would kind of like lessen the load of like of him being more authentically himself like whether or not like it came off as like dark humor or like um the depressive in some nature right Mm. but then he said uh since becoming uh since finding out he was um it's like it sounds like he's like converting to a religion or something but then he was saying like since he found out he had autism one thing uh in realizing that he operates uh through a lot of mask relationships is like cutting off the relationships where um, he found out that in some of these like more in some of these relationships where the other person would create the mask for him like oh I have this person has this set of like standards or ideas of who he was and if he and when he tried to like deviate uh, showed that there was a deviation from that and that that was like wasn't really him it like began to shatter that person's like reality and they would get like defensive the or, other like, person right yeah the other mm. person would get defensive or like gaslight him into feeling bad about like trying to do something that's made him feel like he was being an asshole and selfish right oh. so and he was saying like it was it's been important and a process to to figure out those kinds of relationships where it's like what's worth it to just yeah. like let 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 and let that live and let die and and not get into that the heat of that versus what which people are at the place where they can talk about that and acknowledge their own um uh contributions to that mask mm. that falsification of the relationship right yeah and be willing to like uh, work through it and be and accept and embrace the new versions of both of themselves, right? Yeah. And how they see the dynamic of the relationship. But anyways, he was saying it's interesting because like he before being a people pleaser and like I felt like I could relate to like pretty much everything he was saying. Mm-hmm. Even got me thinking like, oh, yo, okay, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, you're like kind of telling the story. I'm like, yo, this this the story came from <laughs> my point. Like, is he calling me autistic? Like, <laughs> I'm glad we. I'm glad. I'm glad. You know, we both thought that, but mm-hmm. yeah, we we did confirm that I have ADHD. But mm-hmm. shout out to all of our uh, neurodivergent friends out there. Uh, you are seen. You are heard. Amen. Mm. Sorry, and you're he was saying. talking at like a cadence that, like, I was like, yes, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Like even the speed and the pattern that he was doing it at, I was like, oh. This is I'm like more attentive. You're, I can you're I can like understand. in tune, right? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> like shout out to the spectrum folks, yo. But we're on uh, there, yo. We're on there. <laughs> we're on there. We're yo. there with you. We're there with you. But yeah, it was just interesting. He was saying how like even his social life has changed a lot since then, and like it's important for <clears throat> like even though now he's not as like socially active, like the people that he is now, uh, like. Uh, have relationships with are like either stronger or as a result he has more uh, time for himself and 
sure in in my in some senses he felt like oh now i'm not like initially i he felt like oh i'm not as cool or like i lost like friends or whatever mm. that's like were they really friends if like mm. it was as brittle as like taking me a mask and then that's it just like oh no more contact or whatever yeah. right or gaslighting or whatever right the gaslighting but, uh, yeah in anyways, that's neither here nor there. They knew it. <laughs> but he he went on talking about how um, in real in uh, doing this process, he found that it was important for many of us, and especially him, to be able to have the space to grieve uh, relationships, or and grieve um, older versions of ourselves. Mm. And it's okay to have those feelings. Of like nostalgia or like, not even jealousy, but like admiration for what for what was who, what was mm -hmm. right, and recognizing that it's okay for that to be in the past and be not to go back to it. Mm. Yeah, that's mm, that one. I was in tune with that one. Yeah. yeah, damn. Yeah, so I thought about that point in terms of like your point with the. Uh, Shit to leave behind. So in summary, James it's thinks summary. I'm autistic, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, that was mean. That was mean. That was that was, ah, wow, that was really insensitive. <laughs> uh not that shit. there's anything wrong with being autistic. Mm -hmm. Hey man. No. I'm just no I, nothing I saw wrong this, with that. I, I didn't know I didn't check if it was like uh peer reviewed at all. Or, but apparently there's this uh, university in down in the states more recently, uh, who did a study saying how uh, people with um, more less uh, um, noticeable mental conditions that have a side effect of like bad penmanship, uh, it that's that is evident or like. It, there's a connection between having bad writing and mental conditions and being having higher intelligence like being smart so you're saying like hey if you read like shit you're smart bro but you also have a mental condition yes oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> but if you write nice you're stupid you're stupid <laughs> I'm going to send this clip to my uh, coworkers because mm. we do a lot of writing for like admin work and shit. Um, and the biggest one of the biggest complaints is it, it can't read your writing. Mm. So. <laughs> and coupled with the fact that we've confirmed my ADHD. Mm -hmm. um, I'm smart, guys. Yeah, see. Y'all are. It's not that he's dumb. You guys are, just aren't smart enough to read his writing. Yeah, I, I, I always call it encryption. Encrypted, Encrypt, yeah. It's encrypted. Yeah, secure, guys. Fuck. Yeah, you, can't, you can't let everyone read this shit. Speaking of, if you don't want to be surfing the web uh, unsecure and letting everybody see your business, uh, check out our sponsor. No, just joking. We're not getting sponsored. Imagine right being now. sponsored by NordVPN. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, yeah, or Express <laughs> VPN. Oh, or Express, yeah. Surfshark or, mm. yeah, you know. All the VPNs, yeah. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I thought that was cool. I was like, yeah, because like it's like a lot of um, uh, the article. Someone was reacting to the article on TikTok. And the he, autism one. Yeah, yeah, okay. the, yeah. With the uh, no, with the oh, the writing thing. one. Shit, yeah, and like the study in I I, I want to say Harvard, but I'm I doubt it was. Yeah, I might be wrong, but anyways, mm -hmm. um, uh, the person was saying how like it's interesting that like we. Uh, as a society in in terms of like the western society has been like raised to like oh right-handed norm is normal mm. right um having nice cursive penmanship is normal right like we're all like set to meet we're all uh, all taught to meet a certain try attempt to re meet a certain standard and that is the norm and that's what it's supposed to be but then like uh as medical technologies have advanced and like uh, ment mental health testing has, and education mm -hmm. has advanced, we've learned more and more that there is like different forms of intelligences and like ways that we can uh, identify them 
and yeah. rather than and the nurture very... them instead of like being like oh you're not you at don't... the norm then you're yeah. like we'll put you in this like separate class because like oh you're low key less than mm. right because yeah. you're not the norm and it's like like those those norms are based on like very subjective things like like right handed thing like the like the only difference would have been if like say it's just, it was to whoever or whoever whatever group was deciding what the right-handed thing if they're more left-handed then well, it would have been left-handed yeah yeah then all the right-handers handers would have been like right mm -hmm. so again like those those norms are based on the very subjective things so like again with like the today's knowledge now we can identify yeah the different different paths which are more objective than yeah. subjective yeah. yeah and and that's and like it's funny because like we that pressure to meet the norm like who's to say how much of that statistic because people always like to people always like to be like oh it wasn't like this back then but it's like how much of that statistic or that idea mm. is based around the pressure of like oh if you're not this then you're not right right so like so how many people like were like how many people actually, were actually left-handed and just forced and just to write like, sh really really shitty with their right hands mm, because like oh you gotta be right-handed like yeah, everything is like yeah, to that yeah speaking as like a as a left as a lefty but mm -hmm. uh you know it's like who knows right and like someone used this as an example to support like the in terms of like like oh everybody's uh this might be this might be uh Political, political take, but it's like people, like this is like a similar concept in terms of like people criticizing like, oh, everybody's gay now, everybody's like trans or whatever, right? Mm. But it's like, it's is it really that there was that there's this much more people or has society slowly Just... adapted in a way where people feel like in this day and age where everybody's able to share their story and not feel as alone, but also mm. like more criticized than ever that they feel like, Oh, I can have people around me who also feel the same way. So I'll, I'll say, I'll say my piece. I'll, I, I'll express the way I am. Mm. And that is, and, and it's just like people having feeling the, the freedom to express that. Right. Yeah. Like mm. what's, is the number really going that up? Or is it just like in similar fashion to the left-handed thing? Is there just more of a space for that, for that as time has gone on? Accepted. Yeah. Yeah. More. Yeah. Except I think accepted is the right word. Right. Yeah. Mm. No, that's a, that makes sense. Yeah. Cause like what, like being before, if you're not right, you're dead basically. Yeah. Or if you're not something that's normal, execution mm -hmm. yeah so no that even makes like even not even in like even like that i feel like that would apply to all sorts of things all sorts of things yeah. like in terms of like racism mm -hmm. classism like um being ostracized because you're whatever whoever you choose to love right right mm. yeah like if like yeah. example if you're not if you weren't like of nobility you were a serf you're a fucking peasant right yeah you're treated as like cattle or like an end a fucking npc right yeah or like if you're just a thing if you're not uh white you're not right you know <laughs> i'm just saying like what 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 how far it can go it can go so many in so many different directions in terms of like what has been okayed versus not okayed mm. or or even just as small as like people being like hey we understand that not a lot of this is in our control, but if we can give ourselves a voice now more than ever, then why not? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. No. God damn. Yeah. We stand. Stand. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where my head went, but God damn, dude. But um, <clears throat> leaving shit behind. Um, do you have any other things? Mm, I think that was the biggest one because I feel like that. That's kind of like the um, the source where a lot of things stem from. Where a lot of at least a lot of the biggest issues this year stem from. Yeah. So, 
I'm gonna start with that. Mm. Rather focus on one thing than yeah. I'll then try a bunch of little things. Mm-hmm. I guess that's another thing. I want to like actually commit to. Oh, that, I'm gonna I'm going into the new ones. But okay, you 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 mm. use something mm-hmm. you you want to stop. Mm. Being people pleasing is kind of uh, like one of my biggest ones. Yeah. I think um, another one that I want to do is to stop um, hmm. stop vaping as much Oh yeah, I was trying to. I was trying to reach. I was like, "Hmm, what is something I want to stop?" Sorry, I just, I just noticed. I'm like, you were charging your phone, but it wasn't. Plugged it wasn't in. plugged in. What's the other plug-in over um, there? The fan. Oh yeah, and then the other ones the, the light. light. Oh, don't you have a plug-in? I have, your... I have it over here. Oh, okay, okay. I just wanted to see like. Oh. <laughs> uh... And that was after you were talking about how you wanted to switch your cord too. So. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. But yeah, um, one thing that I, um, I'm not, not cold turkey, but mm-hmm. like over time I, or at least over the last month have been, uh, vaping a lot less and like, I'm not going to bash anybody who still does it. I still do it. Right. But like, and, but then I also want to, um, I'm not like as in that much of a rush to like cutting it off completely mm-hmm. just because like it hasn't been a problem for me because like i know some of uh some people in my life who like can't go like hours without it right mm-hmm. like i can go full days like three days a week yeah without it and it's and also because it's expensive and then this economy damn yeah, yeah yeah i like i would rather spend the money on cannabis products yeah like cartridges but like in if i'm going like smokeless then maybe healthier alternatives would be like oils or edibles Mm -hmm. which i do want to try more of or the drinks which are great too but yeah okay no that's a good Mm -hmm. one Hmm. i like that Mm -hmm. that's cool bro I don't know. When was the last time I vaped? Yeah, no. I've just been doing the, since I got mine, just the, the cannabis stuff. Mm. So, it's nice. Every every couple of weeks or so. Nice. Quick hit. Nice. Yeah. Does this uh. still hit us hard now that you, you're doing it um, Semi- semi-consistently? Um, it, it's actually, um, it's still hitting. Um, it's just, I'm now that I know what to expect, it's not as bad. So Mm -hmm. I think what changed was just how I'm reacting and managing it Mm. rather than like how much it's actually affecting me. Right. 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 So, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, have you have, you haven't tried, um, like the oils, right. Or like edibles or the drinks. No, I haven't gone into that. No. Uh, Okay. Like edibles, I think I've probably have tried like candies, like the times I've been with you, and like one other time separate from that. Mm-hmm. That's it. Never mm-hmm. like a like a cookie or a brownie or anything. Just yeah, the really like mandated stuff, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like for me, I I like um. Uh, like I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I don't even keep in, I don't even keep track of like the concentrations of like CBD to THC or like the milligrams or whatever, mm-hmm. or like with the edibles or whatever. Like I should, yeah. But then I haven't been like I usually. I just go like, what is like the lowest concentration of this strand or whatever, and then mm. what's the second, the one up from that, and that's what I usually go for. Okay. And I asked for like recommendations or whatever. Yeah. But then um, when I was in uh, 
when I went to go visit Alberta, yeah, and then uh, I was staying at Brandon's house. Mm-hmm. Uh, while he was working, I was like, "Oh, okay, I'm gonna go for groceries. I'm gonna get some shit. Uh, I'll cook us dinner, and then we'll watch. We'll we'll watch a movie or something. We'll, yeah. we'll just chill, just vibe." Mm. And so we took that like while I was like finishing up cooking, so that I would kick in right when we're eating. Oh, and we like ate so good, and then we had like some beers on the side with our food That's and shit. That's a good time, dude. And then we turn on the movie, like we were like. Yeah. <laughs> and then like Loki uh, I want to do that tonight now he like turned on like his side like he was on the he was like on one side of the couch I was like on like the on like a chair on like beside the couch or whatever yeah and then like I think he thought that like he was being slick with it but that I could tell when he was like dozing off and sleeping I was like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's but vibes, still, still yeah. vibes though too. Oh, yeah. But then I'm like, if we knew a little bit, if I if either of us like paid more attention to like the concentration, maybe we wouldn't be as zoned out, or maybe we wouldn't have felt the need to eat as much. Mm. Or I don't know. But anyways, it was yeah. still fun. You either way, you, yeah. And, yo, vibes are vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Are the vibes vibing? I think so. I think so too. Yeah. That's fucking dope. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, just around. You gotta, time. you gotta continue more of that in the twenty twenty four year. Uh, ah! Speaking of continue, yo, mm. what's something you would want to continue into the new year? Um, one thing for sure is to continue paying off my credit card. Mm. Amen. Absolutely, that's like the first thing that comes to mind. Mm. Um, probably second. Maybe I'll give three. Um, yeah. Fuck second. Yeah. Would probably be to cook more. Oh yeah. yeah, yes, chef. <laughs> Fuck. Yes, chef. Season uh, three is firing now of the bear. Oh Thank my god. god, when is it coming out? Uh, they haven't announced Fuck. it yet. I don't know when they're gonna be done with. I me. need to know, yo. I know. Claire, Claire Bear, Claire Bear, Claire and Claire Bear. Carby, bro. Yeah. What's going on there? <laughs> But yes, um, speaking of Jeremy, th- Jeremy uh, Allen White, before I give my third point, um, mm-hmm. uh, he was in a movie more recently with Zac Efron called The Iron Claw. Oh, but I haven't watched it yet. Um, I believe it has been is it has had pretty good uh, reactions so Wait, far. Who's, who's that actor? Aaron? Uh, Jeremy, th- Jeremy Allen White. That's yeah. uh, Carmi. Oh shit! Carmi's actor and Zac Efron. Oh fuck! Yeah, and then they had like one other brother. I forgot his the actor's name, but then they were those were the two names that hooked me. I was like, oh okay, mm. okay, my boys. The boys, um, yeah. But yeah, there it's like the story of like these um this like um really famous or like like they're the grandfathers of like the wrestling era, like before it got big, like they were big, mm. like they made it big. Like WWE oh. wrestling, like like high key, like Olympic level, yeah. But then like kind of like going in towards like WWE and like the showmanship of it, yeah, yeah. Oh, I believe that's just what I understand from the trailer so far. I don't know much about the Iron Claw family as as uh, as historical fact, but yeah, no, I have no idea. I thought it was kind of cool. interesting though. Right, they right? got to line up like Zach and uh, Carmi. Mm-hmm. And they're both like Zach Efron looks fucking huge, bro. You get jacked for that? Like, it's oh, not fuck. as like toned, not ripped, but like fucking. He's big. He's big and still shit. like kind of shredded, but that not as like to the extreme as he was in Baywatch. Yeah, which Baywatch, is like unhealthy. Baywatch was like like yikes. he said so himself. Like it was yeah, unhealthy. Yeah, but to yeah, maintain shit like that, like fucking four percent body fat. Yeah, I'm like God bro, damn, what dude, the fuck? that's scary. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think four percent was an exaggeration, but you know, you know what I, I mean. Yeah, yeah. But you were, but you're right. It was like something extreme like that. Yeah. Zero, oh. zero, maybe. <laughs> yo, my God, yo, dude, that jawline. I think I like got a oh band aid, yo. Shit, <laughs> shit, yeah. that's hard. That's nice. sharp, bro. Sharp. What the fuck. fuck. Oh. But yeah, Jeremy Allen White, Zach Efron, Iron Claw. Maybe it's good. Maybe I'll look back at uh, the reviews after and maybe it's shit. I don't know. We'll see. Yo. I still stand, yo. <laughs> Swag facts. Facts. Yeah. We still stand. 
But yeah, my third point, uh, third thing that I want to continue doing Mm -hmm. is um, finding time to game. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like on your own with people, um, with with or like just in people, general with people, with people? Okay. yeah. Because like I feel I feel like sometimes the on my own is a little bit more uh, self indulgent, mm. and like that's more of like uh, self care decompress type thing. Yeah. Whereas like yes, gaming with like other people is can also be decompressing, mm. but then like at, at the same time I mostly do it for like the 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 vibes the social interaction the memories yeah yeah so that yeah it's underrated yo mm-hmm. like there's yeah again always like a i feel like there's a general like bad annotation to to gaming but yeah some good good memories were made there yo mm-hmm. shout outs jazz yo shout outs to uh covid the covid team yo yes shout outs to the covid team oh man rip rip <laughs> Shout out to Verdansk. Shout out to Verdansk. <laughs> Man. What a yeah. time. Um, I like that. Yeah. Those are my three that I would like to continue doing. Mm. Hmm. My turn? Mm-hmm. Continue doing. I want to continue um, creative work. So videos, photos... I feel like that's been a nice, like, um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's, a, it's a cool passion project that, you know, allows me to, it's been allowing me to, you know, express myself. Yeah, have a creative a outlet. Creative outlet, yeah. yeah. And it's been, it's been more, it's affected me, affected me pos- more positively than I expected. So definitely want to, like, see where this goes. Mm-hmm. Um, I do want to continue paying down my debt as well because uh, financial freedom is the GOAT mm-hmm. and that'll help me be more creative as I don't have any, I'll have less hindrances to mm. to what my creative outlet hey, Maybe that creative requires. outlet and financial freedom can be linked. Who knows? Like um, Ikigai. Ikigai, yes. 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 I saw this one guy um, mm. on TikTok actually today as well. Yeah, <laughs> scrolling. This, uh, While I was unclogging the toilet, James was on TikTok. Uh, this like um, maybe we can put their TikTok in the description below. Mm. But then um, it's like this company in New York. Yeah. I think uh, it's called Imi Ramen mm. on TikTok. I M M I Ramen. Anyways, mm. like this, uh, their uh, main uh, MC or host or whatever, she um, she walks around in Washington State Park mostly, and um, at least in the videos I saw, yeah. and she like talks to random str- to strangers, and like she creates clips out of them of being like asking like different um, like uh, more existential, sometimes more reflective, yeah, sometimes like it, the questions uh, uh, invoke like something deeper than on a surface level answer right yeah. like oh i could they could have answered in like a more simple way but because of the way she approaches the question or uh the way she breaks them down and like makes them feel less uh like on edge in the interview yeah um they are more willing to divulge extra details about like how the question can hit on a more personable level mm. but um uh, anyways, this is all to say that in one of the clips she's interviewing a guy, and um, uh, she, they were talking about purpose, and um, he was saying like many people make the mistake of saying that um, their purpose and vocation, like their job, are have to be one and the same. And then he was like, and like I thought of that because of like the ikigai guy concept, yeah. and he was like. Um, say today my voc he was like say today my vocation is um to write uh an article for this company right um that is my vocation for today Mm -hmm. while my purpose can still be to show love to other people in any way that i can okay yeah right 
So it's like not it doesn't mean it doesn't have it doesn't always have to mean that like what you do has to be linked to what who you are as a person or like yeah. what you want to do. Mm-hmm. But then in some cases it can work out yeah. where like the most with I- you. the most ideal would be ikigai. Yeah. But yeah, again, sometimes sometimes it can be intersection, right? Sometimes yeah. they don't have to be like completely attached. Yeah, right? and the, sometimes it's just completely separate. Yeah. yeah, and you do what you do for as long as you have the right reasons for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where my head went, but oh, yeah. yeah, my head, my head was like not ikigai. Yeah. It was the opposite. Are you guys tracking? Definitely not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Was that your third one? I don't remember. You remember your three? Did I say three? I said three, right? Um, you said, creative. Yes. Uh, pay down debt. Yes. Uh, maybe I didn't say a third one. Mm. Fuck. I'm gonna watch this back and be like, this fucker didn't say three. <laughs> um, <laughs> self care. That was that was big for me this year. I definitely want to fine tune it this year, and mm. I want it. Yeah, I feel like it's been really helpful to kind of be aware of what I need and actually doing it or mm. going going for it. So, yeah, I feel like that's that's helped me a lot. It's been very good. Um, yeah. Yeah, self-care. I want mm. to keep keep that up into the new year. Shout out to self-care. Shout out to self-care. Oh. <clears throat> Is there anything that you uh, for 2024, you want to start then? Anything new? Hmm. You have me right now? It kind of ties into the creative thing. Uh-huh. Like, I kind of want to make that the new career path. Okay. Yeah. Because, I, like, I don't know. I see there's, a, like, a lot I can do with it, like... Obviously, there's a YouTube and then working with, like, um, I think the the dream was always to work with, like, small businesses. Mm. Um, I don't know. I love storytelling. I love hearing people's stories. Yeah. So I feel like a cool intersect would be, like, um, I don't know. I've been kind of, like, researching, like, documentary style um, short films or films. And those have been, like, I don't know. I really like that t- kind of style. Like, it's, like, very objective the goal like just you're telling a story but like trying to do it in a way where it um you somehow find an emotional attachment to it in that way i don't know i've just seen some like netflix documentaries where it's just like wow i want to cry mm-hmm. or, like i feel for this person even though they're like just spitting facts right now yeah so i don't know that's i i want to see if i can i want to you know really get into that mm. so i haven't really done many projects like that if any but i think i want to do one big one this year mm. yeah maybe we could even like experiment with like like filming like have you ever seen people who do these like fan music videos like i've seen some That reflects around the song. Mm. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Okay, I think I've seen I've seen stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. Yeah. Or there's this one girl. Um, fuck, I think her name's Grace, but her she does like when the Across the Spider Verse movie came out. Yeah. She did this like sick um edit of her in like street style clothing. Yeah. Um. I think she was wearing like Air Max, uh, Air Max ones, or like white and red or whatever. But then she had like a cool outfit on, and then like she did like you know how in the uh, Across the Spider Verse movie they have the shots where it's like they'll follow and like it'll change perspective of like um, the like they'll be like Hill Miles will go from like top to like underneath a building, yeah, or like to do like cool reflective symmetrical shots, yeah. 
Uh, anyway, she did that, but then like with uh, just shots of her like on top of like uh, buildings in like a, I think it was like Chicago or something. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, uh, and then she did like the cool. You know how um, um, fucking what's his name? Hobby. Uh, yeah. Spider Punk. Yeah. Like how he has like the multi-dimensional the, the, thing around him. Yeah. Like she did that, but then around him, around herself. Oh. And like while. While, like, you know how in each thing he would, like, look slightly different in his animation? Yeah. Like, it would be her, like, still having the same, like, uh, expressive, like, main body movements. Yeah. But then her outfit and, like, hairstyle changes, like, in each thing. Frame, huh. While the frame of, like, the environment around her is, like, going at a different pace than, like, the, than every, the every, animation oh, of her. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Super dope. Um, oh, I'll I'll send it, I'll yeah, sh- yeah. I'll show you a video after maybe you can like put her name in the description or whatever. Bet, bet, bet. Cool cool shit. Mm. I was like oh I think I feel like Jesse would like this. Ah, uh, <clears throat> maybe I have sent it to you. Maybe maybe you have. I'm like I'm like <laughs> I'm thinking back. I'm like I feel like this is something you would have sent me already. But we're gonna we're mm. gonna find out later. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about you, bro? Anything you you thought of that I want to start doing? Yeah. Um um one would be to learn how to really um sharpen uh my knives cooking knives oh yeah like i'm you have the stones and everything yeah i have stones yeah um for what me, do you do yeah it's like i'll be like doing it for a while like i'm having trouble like finding the the because like when you shave down the uh one side enough before you like switch to the other side you can you can like see the burr that you created yeah but then like for me like I, i'm not sure like I'll do the process, like they that like most videos that I've seen that like break it down. I'm like I don't know how many passes do I have to do until like it's good, good, and then like I keep going, like I can slice through a paper. I'm like okay, but then it doesn't feel as sharp when I when I start cooking with it the next time. Mm. So you get like a like an edge, but it doesn't last. Yeah, like oh. or like it'll still do the trick, and like mostly like I'll put off. And I know it's, like, bad kitchen etiquette in terms of, like, a dull knife is a dangerous knife compared to a sharp knife, right? Yeah. But then, like, in my mind, I'm like, "Ah, that's a whole process. I have to let the stone soak. I have to, to, like, set up my fucking, um, my, like, sheet pan and, like, a wet towel and shit or whatever. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah, can I really be bothered? Mm. But I guess, like, for me, I want to be able to, like, start changing that mindset and, and, like, it be kind of, like, um... Uh, therapeutic or like relaxing kind of like okay yeah but also like for me having the setting and the space to try to do that is like i don't know if i can like consistently have that where i like without like being like disrupted or like being like okay i'm gonna move this just inside or whatever i just yeah i remembered your situation yeah so it's like yeah i don't know i like i want to like uh try, try. yeah Try oh, yeah. and make that more fun, or like at least I'll learn so that it's safer for me, right? Yeah, no, 100%. No, yeah. that's sharpening. Uh, second one, maybe uh... washing my car more often. Oh, I haven't washed my car since fucking October, dude. <laughs> dude, it's bad. <laughs> I, I there, when when it wasn't as wet out, yeah, it was literally um like that, mm. yeah, and it's like it's caked on, I it doesn't look blue. I <laughs> there are times where I'm at the gas station mm-hmm. and I just I have to get like the the windshield thing, it's like scrub the headlights because I can't see through it. Mm. I can't I, like there's no light coming mm. out. And it's just like fuck. Like it's should wash like, this car. Dust, slush, dried on, dust, slush. Yeah. And like my thing is like I'll find times where it's like one, I haven't been free. Two, it's just like the times I am free, it's either like fucking cold or already fucking wet. So mm. it's just like, ugh. 
Oh no, more more fucking wet than like cold. It's cold when it's, it's good when it's cold. But also, mm. I I don't want to dry the car, so I'm like, mm-hmm. ah. I yeah. remember before with Sally, sometimes I would wash the car. I'm like, oh, I'm just fucking washing it because I don't want it to rust even more than it already is. <laughs> and then like I'll go through like a drive through, and then like I'll drive home, and my shit like because it doesn't get all the water off in those fucking dryers. And, like, the shit that doesn't and gets into, like, the crevices of, like, the doors and shit, it it's freezes. Like, and you're, yeah. like, fucking just trying to open the door. You're, like... <sniffs> yeah. And you're, like, what the fuck? It's fucking annoying, yo. I mean, you trade off. This It's just a trade-off, so convenience, right? Mm-hmm. I could go into, like, a, a spot where it's, like, a coin op, right? Sometimes you don't got the time, yo. I don't, yo. Fuck. Or, just, or, most, or like now, I'm like, I would want to go and like go into a coin op because it's cheaper. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, maybe that's just like cake on. It's probably going to snow again soon. I keep, I, I told myself that for like two, two, three months now. <laughs> it's like, it's just going to stay, man. Yeah. It's just going to cake like on. Some, like now, I'm just like, I'll fucking take like the, the windshield washer things at the gas pump while I'm pumping gas. I'm like, let me scrub my headlights, yo. Let me scrub my windshield, yo. Let me get my camera. Let me get my mirrors. When I, when I drive you home later, look at my windshield. Because mm. I haven't... I didn't even scrub my windshield, yo. That's what the wipers are for. Mm. I just scrub the headlights, bro. Mm. So, you're going to see where, like, where the windshield... Where the wipers end. And you're going to see that fucking brown bar. Mm. Like, at the edge of my windshield, yo. Yeah, recently I had to top off, like, my windshield washer fluid. So, I was like, I'm going to get the minus 45 shit with, like, the extra de-icing. It's, like, maybe, like, six bucks or whatever like the three liter one i'm like uh, like and then yesterday morning after i topped it off like i was like oh the next morning after my shift at work when it was like frosted up i'm like let me try it out you know <laughs> and it started de-icing while i was going like this i was like oh okay okay oh my god <laughs> yeah kind of kind of satisfying oh yeah i love when it works i hate when it's like i try it and then it's just like it just goes over the ice, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, oh, oof. <laughs> I have to get out of my car. Oof, oof, oof. Uh, first world things, yo. <laughs> first world problems, yo. Holy fuck. Yeah. Did I give three? Nah. What was your three? No. Nah. I, I just gave one. Knives. Knives. Mm. Uh, car. Like wash, washing wash my car. car. Oh. What's, your, what's your third? Third. Hmm. Maybe do more creative things. Mm. Mm. Like what? Yeah. Do you have any in mind? Uh, or just like rough, rough idea. Rough idea. Yeah. I'm still yeah. working that out. But, but yeah, yeah, the creative outlet is so nice. It's like um, I don't know, like. Ner- shit on the internet bro i've learned so much more shit that's been applicable useful and relatable on the internet oh yeah then i ha- then almost all of my uh elementary school edu- uh, and high school education no offense to my great teachers not all of them but some, some of, of them. the some of the good teachers who mean well and wanted to see me succeed mm-hmm. power kudos to you my grade 12 uh um math teacher she um before um, taking the provincial, when we were going to like the last like month or two of school, mm-hmm. she was like, "Cause like I was clowning. I I would have that last semester. I had two classes in the morning. I mean three classes in the morning, and then I'm off after lunch every day for that whole semester. <laughs> and then um, like literally I like her class, her math class, which is like the the lowest essentials math math thirty dash two in Alberta. Yeah." Um, would be like the last class I would take mm-hmm. and then I would go for lunch and then play ball and then watch shows and then procrastinate my homework but then like the last month of school she was like <clears throat> you're sitting um, like just at 50% in the class like you're pretty much failing and she was like if uh, we can get you back on tracks but then you have to go all in on the Provincial, because provincial, when I graduated, was 50% of your final grade. 
and then she was like if if you can go all in on the provincial then you won't have to uh, redo this class or or not or and graduate grade 12. and i was like oh, you're I, this is the right thing to do thank you for of course um but i was like damn <laughs> So I had to cut off the month of time I played basketball. I cut off the month of time I would game or or I watch Netflix with my friend. Um, but yeah, anyways, shout outs to the good teachers out there who mean well. But um, all of this to say TikTok. TikTok. Oh, they say you can't learn shit. Is <laughs> yes, yes. Um, the tangents are strong today. <laughs> They're strong. Um, my uh, the TikTok that I was connecting to the point, um, creative, your, outlet, creative nurturing, outlet, your, your passion, yes. nurturing your passions was this girl. Um, also from the a similar um, interview style um, TikTok account. Yeah. Um, this guy was talking to this girl uh, on the street, a random stranger, and uh, she was like, uh, I mean, he was like, "What is like." something that you wish something you found out about your parents <clears throat> more recently mm. that um you wish you could tell them something about it but you can't and uh she said for both of her parents um she wishes she could tell them that because like she said more recently she went through um she was over at her parents house and she was going through like photo albums like their old photo albums yeah like individual ones like of them of their like single lives that okay. they just collected together right yeah and she's noticed that like her parents had like s these like cool creative um hobbies that they used to do like her dad used to travel a lot and do photography yeah before he settled into his job and started their family um the mom used to do like a lot of like sewing like mm. garments and shit like that but then that's not like what the, <coughs> her, the career path that she ended up choosing and she was like she wishes she could tell her parents, um, or at least she hasn't told them that at the point of the interview, mm. that like she wishes that uh, she could tell tell them that um, she wishes they didn't give up on their passions and still like kept them uh, as a hobby. Yeah. Just and um, she was like, because I know she was like, I know some people think like, oh, I'm why should I continue sewing or like doing tailoring type stuff? If I'm not going to be a fucking fashion designer, I may as well give up. Right. I was like, oh, I'm not going to be the next fucking um, <clears throat> world renowned uh, tour guide. So then why, why should I be like traveling to all these places and like uh, doing blogs about them? Right. Mm -hmm. Like why I'm not going to be a fucking professional race car driver. Why should I, why should I still should be I... like driving cars or like mm. be interested in cars? Right. And then she was like, it's calling me out. <laughs> Like it's just, she was like it's so important that like, uh, she feels bad that like uh, them st settling and getting comfortable with like the nine to five and raising her became a hindrance or like an obstacle in terms of like letting go that part of themselves that because she didn't talk to her parents about it like there wasn't an issue or anything it was just yeah. something that she came across nothing mm -hmm. that they were hiding no potentially, no right yeah but it's like a realization type yeah thing. yeah like but because she hasn't talked to them yet at the point of that interview she didn't know if um that was something that they had regret letting go or not or mm -hmm. maybe they do it now on a smaller scale that she doesn't know about i don't know but it's just like and she brought up how she you knows she has friends whose parents have like a very different vocation compared to like what they um <clears throat> are able to do on the side as a hobby yeah but that but she also did admit that like for um some people uh we not everybody has the luxury of financial uh freedom to play around and, uh, and not like, play around but to like uh, to try things to try things yeah right no that that's completely and she, valid and she said that like yeah. as an immigrant so i'm like yeah. i'm like I respect that. Like mm -hmm. that's a realization that like like we've talked about in the past. Like if you if th these are like issues that you can um dive into or um really give attention to when you're not in survival mode, right? Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. Damn. Yeah. TikTok. TikTok, man. Sorry, I was I just like kind of like went into like a like a little rabbit hole of like 
what are my parents like doing? Mm. And then kind of like trying to realize like, oh shit. Cause my dad, my dad like jokes about like him, like wanting to be a boxer and like, it's kind of, it's kind of like, I've always seen it as a joke, but like thinking more now, it's like, he told me that joke for well, probably 15 years of my life. Yeah. So I'm like, wasn't a joke. And, <laughs> not and, a joke. And his mom, like, convinced him not to do it. Mm. Like, have to stop him. Because mm. of, like, you know, potentially what could go wrong. Right. Concussions, stuff like that, etc. Right. So. Yeah, no, just, that was, sorry, just a little tangent there. But, yeah, no. It's creative, creative outlet, yo. Don't lose that light. Yeah. And, yeah, it's just, it's interesting. Because, mm-hmm. like, sure, um... I can't speak because uh, I can't speak for everybody because, like, obviously, um, I don't have children of my own. Yeah. Or a partner to be mm-hmm. like, oh, consider that, right? But it's like, I would, I would be, God forbid, I was put into a position where um, I started a family a little bit earlier than I would like mm-hmm. and go on to regret not having tried things that I've been having had deep inside within myself to be like, oh, maybe one day I'll be able to have the time, the liberty to try that out, right? Right. And then if I don't, uh, then I'm going to be harboring that resentment. And uh, it'll be attached it'll be to attached. whatever you left that for. Yes. Which would be that family. Yeah. And and they like, don't oh. deserve that, yeah. Yeah. And then living vicariously through your children, like, right? Oh, Tough. And then you, yeah. Then that's then that cycle. Your cycle of trauma. You're uh, just feeding into it. You know. Doesn't stop until it stops with you. Yeah. <sighs> now, but that's a whole other episode. That's neither that's here, here nor, nor there. there. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn! That's a. We went off on this one, dude. I really like this. This is a. This is a good. Set this. Did you set this episode up good, yeah. Despite our um, tangents, mm. had some interesting ones there. Yeah, and I yeah, I thought it would be a little bit uh, interesting because like last year we did resolutions, resolutions. This and it's just like kind of like that. But I feel like this one is a little bit more deep rooted and like self accountable esque, mm. rather than like you know throwing things out there. Not to say that we just threw things out there last time, but it's, I feel like this one is. Um, yeah, there's a lot, some more self accountability for for the style of what we did. Mm. I really like that. Appreciate it, bro. Keeping me in check, yeah. Tell me I'm autistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout us to TikTok. Shout us to TikTok. Oh man, is there anything you want to leave um, little rockets off with there? <sighs> My neck hurts. Uh, I hope your 2024 has uh, started off on some good notes for you guys. Mm. Um, I hope you guys ate good over the holidays. Oh. And hmm. ceasefire now. Facts. If you don't know what's going on, then yeah. you're get out of the fucking rock you're under, <laughs> and then get out of the other rock that you're yeah. under, and under under that, and then take rock. the rock out of your ass. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, perfect. Yeah, while you're standing on top of that high rock. Yeah, and it might help to take the rocks out of your eyes too. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, on that note, mm-hmm. here's 2024. Blast off, yo. Into the new year. Mm. Peace, yo. Oh, fuck, my mouse is frozen. <laughs>